soon, pal. I say again, they nourish disobedience. Fate, the ruin of the state. I shall give my reasons more worthier than their voices. They know the call is not our recompense. Resting well assured they ne'er deserve his cause. Being pressed to the wall, even when the navel of the state was touched, they were not threatened the gates. Being in the war, their mutinies and revolts, for in they show most battle, spoke not for them. And the accusations they have often made against the Senate, all cause and board, can never be the motive of our so frank nomination. Well, what then? How shall this bitter multitude digest the Senate's courtesy? The views expressed to the light of these their words. We did request it. We! The great Paul, in truth, fear they gave us our demands. Thus we deface the nature of our seats, and make the rabble call our cares fears. To win in time, break off the locks of the Senate, and call in the crows to peck with the eagles. You, do you know less fearful than discreet? The love of fundamental parts of the state will end up change upon it. Prefer a noble life before long, wish to jump a body with dangerous visit, and sure of death without it. At once, pluck out the multitudinous tongue. Let not them make the sweet, which is their poison. Your dishonor mangles true judgment, and bereaves the state of that attempt you should have come at. So the power to be good at wood. For indeed, we struck the strong. Let's say that, let's both like a traitor, and shall answer as traitors do. Let him be up 